Hello, in this episode of Megabox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at a filament from 3D Fuel called 3D Fuel Glass Filled PLA. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is a PLA based filament with glass fibers and it's a pretty cool filament and I want to read out the label and then show you the prints. So here they say 3D fuel glass filled PLA, uh, print temperature should be 190 to 210 and bed temperature 9 to 60 and print speed 40 to 100. Uh, so normal PLA temperatures and, and settings, but here they say hard and nozzle advised and I was using uh, hard and nozzle for my prints on my Prusa MK3 printers. Uh, here they say glass filled PLA printer filament is a first of a kind engineering grade filament that can be used on any machine capable of printing standard PLA. Glass filled PLA filament offers similar benefits of standard PLA such as very low warp, low order and no special extruder and heated bed needed. But the power of the composite makeup allows it to be stronger, tougher and, un and more flexible. And it's made in the USA by 3D Fuel and you can go to their website 3dfuel.com. So let's have a, have a look at the prints. So here on the string test there's like a fine wisps of hair. Um, the strands are, are, uh, are not so stuck to the, to the remaining of the part. Uh, so maybe layer adhesion was not very good. So feels a little bit like somewhat more brittle on PLA. But I printed out some brake tests to see how it would fare. And as you can see in the print, it's super smooth. It's like excellent print quality. So it's, you can hardly see the layer lines. Um, but but it's. Uh, Maybe for those breaks, it's like medium. It's not as uh, not as strong in layer adhesion as I would expect from a PLA. So I guess the glass fiber have some uh, something to say in regard of layer adhesion. But uh, the print surface on those materials is like just <laughs> incredible. You can hardly see any layer lines. It's uh, so cool. <laughs> But, and then I printed this string test as well, and same very small wisps of, of hair, uh, but maybe layer adhesion was not very good. Uh, I did the spritzing test, and spritzing test uh, for a PLA normally has uh, maybe one of few strands dripping down, and this this had the same uh, few strands dripping down, but otherwise pretty good. Um, I'm really liking the color and the surface of this uh, material. It's uh, feels like uh, like some sandstone or something it's really really cool to touch <laughs> and I did this overhang test uh, goes up to 70 degrees and it did pretty good a tiny amount of, of drooping but nothing too serious and you can see the, the surface quality here on the on the sides it's I'm trying to have it in the best focus it's like injection molded uh, surface it's amazing how, how this one looks uh, this one is, is quite difficult to break um, it's, it's really stiff I would say um, here I did the, the make a coin um, that came out excellent as well no issues here um, it's really really nice like matte gray matte I really like this color gray is probably my favorite color for a filament <laughs> it shows the filament so good um, and this came out excellent and i then printed the shared layers a lot <laughs> and ran out of filament um, this one was excellent up to this point it just went out, out of filament and as you can see i print without any infill um, it's uh, amazing quality and i really like the the surface texture it's uh, like a yeah, like a sandstone uh, material and to try to sand it just a little bit to see how it yeah you can easily sand it a bit and it gives it a, a lighter 
let the colors. And I really I want to like buy a roll of this filament to, to test it out more. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. This was my quick look at the 3D fuel glass filled PLA. It uh, was awesome. This filament, the, the surface finish was so amazing. It's so smooth and it was very difficult to see the ley lines often in, the, in some of the tests. And I was really happy with this filament. I want to get a roll of it <laughs> and see how it will fare. I, I, with the sanding test I did, it seems to sand easily, uh, probably because of the of the class uh, particles in it. And I want to try it out on my Star Wars models. But overall, I was really happy with this filament, even it was uh, maybe a little bit more brittle than normal PLA, I would say. But that maybe the because of the glass fibers in it. Uh, normally fiber injected filaments are a little bit more brittle, but uh, otherwise this was pretty good. But this will be it for this video. I'm Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, please give me a subscribe or a like and a comment on the video and tell me what you think. But for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.